In 2004, 27 people died and 74 were injured in an explosion at an LNG plant in Eskegda, 500 kilometers east of the Algerian capital. A report noted that the explosion was the consequence of a catastrophic failure in one of the cold boxes of Unit 40, which led to a vapor cloud explosion of either LNG or refrigerant. The most probable source of ignition was the boiler at the north end of the year 40. The report concluded that the escape gas was from the cryogenic heat exchanger. After investigation, reason was found as liquid metal embrittlement. There is a specific combination of the liquid metals and stressed metals or alloys that can lead to the catastrophic intergranular cracking, which defines liquid metal embrittlement. During the welding, liquid metal is used in the liquid metal embrittlement susceptible metal and form cracks at four points. This is due to the reason that carbon steels and stainless steels are susceptible to liquid metal embrittlement by zinc and lithium. Aluminum and aluminum alloys are susceptible to liquid metal embrittlement by mercury and zinc. Copper and copper alloys are susceptible to the liquid metal cracking by mercury and lithium. The liquid metal atoms when adsorbed on a susceptible metal or alloy reduces the metal bond strength within the grain boundary regions of the susceptible metal under the transdial stress crack initiates and propagates rapidly along the grain boundaries. Two types of the attack are believed to occur in the process of the embrittlement of stenotic stainless steel. In type 1, embrittlement is a relatively slow process. The FCC of stenotic structure transforms to the BCC ferrite producing expansion and a stress that initiates cracking. In type 2, embrittlement occurs at a much faster rate requiring an external stress to facilitate crack initiation. While being in contact with liquid metal under stress, certain metals experience a drastic reduction in ductility. It should be pointed out that the loss of ductility takes place in normal ductile metals. Often the phenomena is seen as a crack propagation associated with the change of the fracture surface from ductile into the brittle of an intergranular type. According to the conventional mechanism, the lower melting point liquid metal fills a crack in the solid metal, thereby weakening material at the crack tip and allowing it to propagate at much lower stress. There are three conditions necessary for the liquid metal embrittlement to occur. Using a material that is susceptible to liquid metal embrittlement such as stainless steel, nickel alloys, or age hardened alloys. Second is the stress in the component internal or applied. Third is the presence of a liquid filler metal. The surprising finding could lead to a self-healing material that repair incipient damage before it has a chance to spread. The results were published. The answer turned out, out to lie in how grain boundaries interact with the cracks in the crystalline microstructure of a metal. In this case, nickel which is the basis for the superalloys used in extreme environments such as in deep sea oil wells. In order to correct an issue in your process that involves liquid metal embrittlement, you must remove one of the three conditions that cause liquid metal embrittlement. This could involve using an anneal or stress relief heat treatment to the base material, change the base material to one that is less susceptible to the liquid material embrittlement, or changing the filler metal to one that is of higher temperature in order to stress relieve the part before the brace material becomes molded onto the surface. If any of these three conditions does not exist or re altered, liquid metal embrittlement can be avoided. Liquid metal embrittlement is a phenomenon where certain ductile metals experience a drastic decrease in tensile properties or possibly brittle failure when exposed to certain liquid metals. Knowing to the conditions under which the liquid metal embrittlement can occur and how to avoid it will reduce the scrap rate, improve the quality of your parts and increase the efficiency of your operation. Thank you.